When the team first uncovered the Agara bone well in 1938, they could only speculate. Hundreds of infant skeletons in one place. It was a shocking discovery. So early on, some wondered, could this have been a mass burial from disease, warfare, or even a site of infanticide? It's an interpretation that resonates with some ancient texts. Greek myths mention exposure, the abandonment of unwanted infants. Oedipus is the prime example. He was left to die because an oracle had predicted that he would kill his father, which he famously did before unknowingly marrying his mother. Of course, though, that's a myth and not real history. Let's not confuse the two. It's only more recently that archaeologists began to revisit the evidence with fresh eyes and modern science. A new interdisciplinary team decided to revisit the mystery, led by Mariah Liston, a bioarchaeologist, Susan Rotroff, a ceramic specialist, and Lynn Snyder, a zooarchaeologist. The team's restudy completely upended our interpretation of the Agara bone well. It was not a site of horror, but their compelling hypothesis reveals the surprising resilience of ancient people in the face of everyday tragedy.